Okay, this is a walkthrough of a problem um, where two bodies are connected um, and you're going to want to calculate forces between them or something like that. They're connected, but their accelerations are different. Um, that can only happen when they're connected by a cable that goes over a pulley. That's the only way that this can really work. Um, okay, so let's do an example where, let's say we have a horizontal ledge. And uh, we have a cart that can roll along the ledge and it's connected by a cable to a hanging mass. Uh, let's say that this one is two kilograms and this one is one kilogram. Okay, and um, we want to calculate the acceleration vector. Let's just pick one of these. It doesn't matter which one. What's the acceleration vector of the two kilogram cart. Okay, so let's say that's the problem we want to solve. Um, so first, uh, notice, you know, if one of these accelerates, the other one has to accelerate, but the accelerations are going to be different because the two kilogram moves horizontally and the um, one kilogram moves vertically. So that's the kind of problem that we're dealing with. Um, and if two objects are connected and they have the same acceleration, we start by isolating the whole thing. It's different in this case. So in this case, we're just going to go straight to the individual ones. Um, and it doesn't matter which one you do first. Um, I'm going to start by isolating the one kilogram. Um, and so here's a free body diagram of the one kilogram mass. Um, first, there's a weight force. 1 times 9.81 is 9.81 newtons. And now think about uh, where the surroundings make contact with the boundary and what kind of force that is. The only place is that the cable makes contact with the top. And we don't know what that cable force is, so I'm going to call it T. Uh, this is a complete free body diagram, so now we'll go to Newton's second law. And we have 0t plus 0, negative 9.81 is equal to the mass times the acceleration. And now you have to think, does this move along the x-axis or along the y-axis? Um, this moves vertically, so I'm going to call this 0a. And if you look at this, there's no reason to think that this thing would accelerate up. But like always with these, that sign will work out on its own. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put the positive a in there for y and just let the sign work out on its own. Uh, well, there's two equations here. Uh, they don't always just disappear like this, but um, in this case, the x equation says 0 equals 0. So the only useful equation is the y equation, and it says t minus 9.81 is equal to a. Okay, well, we can't solve that because there's two variables, but I'll just set that aside. I'll call that equation star. And that's all we can do right now with the one kilogram. We can't solve for anything because it's one equation, two variables. So now we're going to go and isolate the second one. So there's the outline. Um, so pause the video and see if you can uh, draw the free body diagram for this. Okay, well, there's a weight force of 2 times 9.81, so 19.62 newtons. Um, and now we're looking for the contact forces. There's a pulling force from the cable, and it's the same cable as in the other body, so I give it the same name. And then there's a pushing force from the ground, I'll call that N. And that's it for the free body diagram.
So now we're going to put that in the left side of Newton's second law. T is in the negative x direction. 19.62 is in the negative y direction. And is in the positive y direction. And all this is equal to the mass times the acceleration. Okay, now, this, now that you're on the second body, here is the trickiest thing in these kind of problems. And that is recognizing the relationship between these accelerations. So you can see that this cart can only move along the x-axis. But when you're on the second body in problems like this, you also have to consider which direction that second body is going to go according to a certain motion for the first one. So remember here, we sort of made, on the first body, we sort of made this default decision that we're going to um, call that acceleration positive A in the y direction. So let's think of what would happen to make this one kilogram mass move in the positive y direction. Which way would the two kilogram mass have to go? Okay, um, so if the one kilogram mass were to be, you know, pulled up an inch in the positive y direction, the two kilogram mass would have to be, would have to move an inch in the positive x direction. Otherwise, that cable would bunch up. So that relationship is a positive y motion for the one kilogram corresponds to a positive x motion for the two kilogram. On the other hand, you know, if this moved down, the two kilogram would move to the left. But since for the one kilogram, we by default said that it's, you know, you can think of it as like a positive value of a means a acceleration in the positive y. Now we're going to say, for the second one, a positive acceleration A, a positive value of A, needs to be an acceleration in the positive X direction. So we'll put this in here as A0. Now that you've done that, it's just a matter of solving this system of equations. Uh, we have two equations. The y equation doesn't really help us here because we're just trying to calculate a. Um, the x equation, though, says negative t plus 0 plus 0 is equal to 2a. So we have our second useful equation, negative t is equal to 2a. And now we have a system of two equations for two variables. Negative t is equal to 2a, and t minus 9.81 is equal to a. Okay. Um, <coughs> so our system, let me write that again, has one equation that says t minus 9.81 is equal to a and a second equation that says negative t is equal to 2a. Uh, I'm going to use this one to say that multiply both sides by negative 1. We have t is equal to negative 2a. And then I'm going to substitute that into equation 1. So, uh, in place of the t in equation 1, I'll put in the negative 2a minus 9.81 is equal to a. And so uh, add uh, 2a to both sides and you get negative 9.81 is equal to 3a. And then just calculate that. Divide both sides by 3, and you get that A has a value of negative 3.27 meters per second squared. Well, that's the value of A. Uh, what about the acceleration vector of that 
what we're looking for is the acceleration vector of the two kilogram cart. Well, like always, we, we've already had to put the acceleration of A in Newton's second law, that's this. Now all we have to do is plug in our value for A. And so we get that the acceleration of the two kilogram cart is equal to negative 3.270. Or that's in the negative x direction. So you could also think of it as a acceleration to the left with a magnitude of 3.27 meters per second squared. So what this system is going to do is the two kilogram cart is going to accelerate to the left. The one kilogram mass is going to accelerate down and the magnitude of that acceleration is going to be 3.27 meters per second squared. 